2020 crop for staff and students. We hope everyone had a restful break. So let's get right to the news. There have been some cool upgrades to our building here at Crawford. Our entranceway looks totally different and there has been a fresh coat of paint in the main hallway. Don't you just love progress? Let's welcome our newest staff member, Ms. Mackenzie Thompson, and also let's welcome back our interventionist, Ms. Ellen Mitchell. Hi, my name is Riley Cooper. I'm a seventh grade student on the Reds. I'm here with Ms. Thompson, the language arts teacher on the Reds bar. Ms. Thompson, where are you from? I'm from Bath County, Kentucky. It's about 45 miles from here. Very rural area, a lot smaller than Lexington. Where did you go to school? I went to school in Bath County and then I went to college at MSU Moorhead State University. I graduated in 2019. What is your job title? I am seventh grade English language arts teacher for the Reds team. Ms. Thompson, what's your favorite food? Oh, I love anything pasta. I could eat spaghetti and pizza every day of my life. <laughs> What's your favorite color? My favorite color is red. How many years have you been an educator? This is my second year as an educator. If you wanted to tell your students one thing, Ms. Thompson, what would it be? If I told my students one thing, it would be that I'm here for them. Anytime they need me, they can come to me with anything. Well, that's Ms. Thompson. Bye! For today, I'm interviewing Ms. Mitchell. Ms. Mitchell, where are you from? I'm from Kentucky. I was born in Louisville and raised in Madison County. Ms. Mitchell, where did you go to school? I went to school. I did my teacher at Kentucky University, and I did my undergraduate work at the University of Washington in Seattle, Washington. What is your job title? My job title is Reading Intervention Instructor. Ms. Mitchell, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. I love pizza with green olives and sun-dried tomatoes. And your favorite color? My favorite color is, um, that's hard. I really like the color gold. How many years have you been an educator? Oh, I've been an educator since 2002. Since 2002. And Ms. Mitchell, if you wanted to tell one thing to your students, what would it be? That I love them and just keep learning. <laughs> Let's look at some upcoming events at Crawford. On January 15th will be the annual chili cook-off and science night. Please see Ms. Lamy for details. Every Saturday from 9 to 1, CMS has Family Sports Day. Come out and participate. Are you hungry? Well, come out and support the Junior Bay Club and eat mob pizza and hamburger on January 16th. A percentage will go towards our CMS Beta Club. Remember, on January 20th, there is no school because of Martin Luther King Day. Let's go to Officer Jackson for a public service announcement. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vicki Jackson. I'm a police officer with Fayette County Public Schools uh, Division of Law Enforcement. And we're doing this recording this morning uh, as a public service announcement. And I'm speaking directly to my middle schoolers here at Crawford Middle Schools. You rock. All of you rock. And basically, I just wanted to talk for just a little bit about your educational foundation. And you guys are starting on a journey where your education is gonna take you to much higher things in life. This is so important for you guys to understand that this foundation, middle school, is what builds your house of education. So today we're talking about sixth graders, seventh graders, and eighth graders. Every single grade builds on the next grade. In order to go to the next level, which is high school, that is what this is based on. So doing well in middle school builds a good foundation for your high school education. Your high school foundation builds a foundation for where you're gonna go from there. All of this, all of this determines where you will live, what kind of car you will drive, what kind of clothes you will wear, how much money you will make. That's why we're doing these PSAs. You guys have to realize that taking your education seriously is what is going to build the foundation for your educational house. Take two. Next PSA. <clears throat> this is about outside of school. How you conduct yourself outside of school. Places you go. People you interact with. Let's say you go to the mall and you're with a group of people and some people start acting rather silly and it draws attention to the whole group. When that whole group includes you, you get painted with a broad brush. 
represent. Represent yourself, represent Crawford Middle School, represent your parents, represent your community in a positive way. If you're around people that are not representing in a way that you feel is positive for you, separate yourself. Don't hang with those people. That might be cool today, but it might not be a long-term thing. Think about your future. Think about tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Positive, always, always positive things. If it's not positive things you're surrounding yourself with, you're cheating yourself. Take three. Let's talk about substance abuse. It's normal in middle school and in high school to experiment. It shouldn't be, but it is. But I'm gonna tell you a little personal story about my niece. She experimented one time with the wrong thing. And it cost her her life. She was 19. There are no words to make it better. A life was snuffed out because she went to a party and someone said, hey, try this. Come on, you just try it one time. What's it gonna hurt? Don't be peer pressured into doing something that you know you shouldn't do. 19. Our CMS boys basketball team will kick off the season on January 22nd, first Hayes Creek Middle. We have hopes for the team. Let's talk to Malcolm Paul, an eighth grade play player, about the upcoming season. So Malcolm, now that the um, 2020 CMS basketball season started, I'm going to interview you, ask you a couple questions about the season. So um, now that it started and everything started going, what do you think about the team overall? Uh, overall, we're uh, bigger than we were last year. Say we got better uh, than we were last year and just uh, doing things smoothly. Good. What do you think about the athleticism of the players? Do you think everyone's good in shape? Do you think they need some work? Are there any younger players stepping up? Uh, yeah. Uh, we're running a lot, getting in shape. Everybody can, you know, make it, most everybody can make it down and back. And yeah, we have a couple people stepping up to play with us, state graders. And yeah, that's good. Um, now, season wise, how do you think your games are going to go? Uh, we should should go good. Go. We should go undefeated. I mean, no team can really beat us. And yeah. Um, another question I have is um, your practices. How are they going? Are they going good? Are players tending to mess up a lot? Or uh, yeah, practices are going smooth. No, now that we're like doing plays and stuff, doing what we need to do. But uh, drills wise, I mean, there's like a couple people here and there, you know, that will mess up. But I mean, it's all good, it's practice. So, time to improve. Yeah. Well, that's it for the CMS Basketball 2020 interview. Bye, Bye proper students. Remember to be safe, respectful, and responsible. responsible.